When I was diagnosed, I remember the first night sleeping in my bed at home when I was diagnosed thinking how claustrophobic I was because it's like I, I'm stuck in this body and it's sick. Yeah, I wasn't going to be able to see my kids during treatment and that was really, really hard on me because I had a four-year-old daughter named Kaya, my son, two-year-old Beckett, and uh, both of them are my life and it was going to be um, very hard for a hands-on dad to just suddenly not be there. You know, not be there to give them baths, to feed them, or to uh, read books to them at night. Going in there, I just had this mentality of like, uh, I don't want my wife to be a widow. I don't want my kids to be fatherless. So I have one choice, which is go in there and survive. I was told I was gonna need a transplant and my mother is Filipino and my father is Scottish so they told me that it was gonna be very hard to find a match in the registry. But my little brother was a 25% chance of being a match and uh, we would have to roll the dice. It was a very interesting time. Everybody kind of on pins and needles those three or four days where we kind of waited to see what happened. I remember uh, my parents came and visited me at City of Hope and I don't know what happened. I just decided to turn on my iPad and I recorded the moment where I just told them. So I have some news for you guys. Okay. Adam's a full match. <laughs> I remember my mom saying, you know, now we have a fighting chance. We're not there yet, but we got a fighting chance now, right? I'm close to having three years of remission. It gets me excited because I know that uh, I get to be here a little longer. I get to experience love with my, my wife and uh, I get to experience the growth of my children. I breathe and stand in front of you today because I'm an absolute miracle. I'm certain of that.